I'm really into Minecraft YouTube. In my spare time, I literally just sit there and watch Minecraft videos. And on Minecraft YouTube, they are doing this challenge called 100 Days in Minecraft. Being a Sims 4 YouTube channel, I think I'm gonna do 100 Days in The Sims 4. This is pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is live 100 days in The Sims 4 and just see how you progress. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here is my Sim. Her name is Valerie Travis. I gave her kind of like a really cool look. We got some funky makeup going on. All of her outfits are a little bit out there. I wanted her to have like a unique style. Right now when I'm filming this, The Sims 4 Cottage Living just came out. So I'm gonna move her into Henford on Bagley. I kind of feel like this Sim is gonna like shake up the town a little bit. She doesn't really fit the cottage core aesthetic. Anyway, day one. <laughs> First thing I wanna do is get our girl a job. We've only got $670, so that's what I need to do today. Find a job. So her likes and dislikes, she really likes DJ music. She likes to dance. So I wanna get her into some kind of like party career. Maybe we can be an entertainer. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we are an entertainer. Let's go out on the town and maybe make some friends in day one. My aspiration in this is also to be friend of the world. So we're gonna make a lot of friends. We're gonna try and keep a lot of friends. And our first friend can be this bartender. What's your name? Sarah Scott, she owns a place. We're just gonna befriend all of these random townies in the Sims 4 Cottage Living. This is Cecilia Kang. Look at this crew. This is gonna be the squad. <laughs> so it's getting a little late. I've introduced myself to every single person that I've came into contact with and I've made quite a few acquaintances. We're gonna end off day one by going home, cooking a nice meal. Let's order delivery. We're not gonna cook on day one. Let's order some groceries. Zoomers food delivery. Let's try out the new thing. I want a sandwich. Zoomers, okay, thank you. And I'm gonna end day one eating my delicious sandwich and talking to the delivery girl. <laughs> day two, we're up bright and early. She's feeling tense. She's kind of low on fun. So I'm gonna buy her an instrument since I have to practice music anyway for my career. This gets her fun up. Okay, good. Oh, we work today. Day two starting early. Okay, we gotta get ready. I don't have like any groceries. I really need to get that. Later on in day two, we'll have to order some groceries. I only have $42. We better like make some cash today. I think it would be important to her to introduce herself with friends, coworkers, get to know them. Oh, Huber and hijinks. We can go to that later. Okay, $184. Nice. Let's order our groceries and then we're gonna go out on the town. We can invite some of the people that we met at the bar. <laughs> I don't know what to order. Like, I'm a girl on a budget. I'm gonna order, I don't know, a mushroom. You know what? I should probably start planting stuff. Let's keep it under a hundo. Oh, yay, my groceries are here. Thank you. You and Sarah's calling me to go to the humor and hijinks festival. Girl, I was gonna call you. All my things are in the fridge. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, it's like thunderstorming. I hope nobody dies here. <laughs> Everyone's scared. Oh my god, what a time. <gasps> oh, someone just got struck by lightning. Oh my god, somebody is going to die. I hope it's not me. It's gonna be a real quick hundred day challenge here. I think me and the squad are gonna go and hang out in the museum while everyone else runs for their lives. And I'm just gonna watch the show. Basically, all I'm doing is like getting to know them, trying to like up my friends but while watching for Sim's death. Ah, the rain stopped. Okay, I'm gonna go home. Do I work tomorrow? Probably. End of day two, we went to work. We almost witnessed a death and we're upping more of our relationship. And we haven't even eaten yet. We'll eat tomorrow. <laughs> so day three, we're up. We're finally gonna use our groceries. I'm gonna make some fruit salad. I'm gonna plant the rest of my fruit, hopefully before I go to work. It is storming again here. Does it just like rain a lot in this world? But we're off to work again. Gonna hang out with my coworkers. At least I don't have to water my plants, but $184 ain't gonna cut it. I gotta practice that music. We gotta be a superstar baby. I need to, I need a promotion. So end of day three, I got to level three of the guitar skill and level two of the cooking skill. So hopefully, I mean, we're probably gonna die by lightning in this series, but hopefully that means we won't die by fire. Oh my God, what is going on? Wait. <laughs> Okay, I, is that a bushy-tailed thief, right? Which is supposed to be the fox, but right now it looks like it's Vlad. I'm very confused. I don't even see a fox. Apparently a fox is coming to steal my stuff, but it looks like it's Vlad, so. Oh my God, what the hell are you doing? Oh, there is a fox. There's like, there's like two things happening right now. I guess technically it's day four. Oh my God, stay the hell away from me. <gasps> no, 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 I do not want to be a vampire. Stop, lock the door, lock the door. Oh, this is so scary. No, 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 no. You get away from me, get away. I don't want to be a vampire. I really don't. Stop. Just go away. She got up and started dancing. The hell are you doing? He's leaving. Dude, did he just like draw a picture of me? This is a whirlwind of events. Where the hell are you going now? He's in my cow shed. Does Vlad live in my cow shed? I'm not prepared for this. I'm just gonna go back to bed. That was the weirdest thing ever. This is already a very strange day for her. Okay, work starts in an hour after that, that day she's had. I don't know if my promotion is gonna happen. I'm back for work and I got a promotion. I got $451 bonus. Nice. 
Okay, cool. We are promoted. She's dancing, she's vibing, and the fox is back. And I'm gonna make a little extra cash from these grapes. Tomorrow is Harvest Fest, so I think I'm gonna have over all of her friends. I wanna have like a big dinner. <gasps> she got me rare plants. Girl, thank you. It's a cow plant. Oh my God, yes, I'm gonna plant this for sure. I think I wanna plant it like kind of near the shed so that if Vlad does come out, hopefully he'll just like hang out with that. It's kind of getting late and we need some fun. What if we take Sarah out and we go to like the city nightclub? Actually, you know what? Windenburg nightclub is usually pretty like bumping. <laughs> we can do like baby steps. Not quite the city. It's kind of like cottagecore a little bit. And we're going to bring everyone. We're going to bring the squad. That's roll. I also need to introduce myself to three more people and make one more friend. So we should do that tonight. What is going on on this dance floor? Oh my God. I have like secondhand embarrassment a little bit. Technically it's the end of day four. We're going into day five. I have to work in the morning so I can't stay here too much longer. I'm really just trying to get my friendship up with Cecilia, but I think she's leaving. Okay, there we go. Milestone complete. We're stargazing. Perfect. Day five, we are breaking milestones. Okay, yeah, we gotta get up. I wanna have like a dinner party today. In the morning, I'm practicing a little bit of music. I'm gonna plant some stuff. I don't know, maybe we should go to the pub. The pub is open. Or should I cook the meal? I'm torn. I'm gonna cook the meal. I'm gonna cook the meal. It's Harvest Fest. Let's go in here and cook a grand meal. We should probably clean up a little bit too. Are you pranking me? She's brought me a mold of clay. Okay, well, you can come in while I cook this meal. Is this how you are going to value our, our first day of friendship? With a mold of clay? <laughs> Invite to join cooking. She can help me. Oh, I forgot. Stop playing with that. Come help me. She's just playing with the clay. <gasps> there's a fire. Oh my God, there's a fire. There's a fire. Get out, get out, get out. Everyone leave. Run. Go here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm on fire. Help. 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 Yo, are you going to save me or what? Extinguish self. Oh my God. I'm only on day five. Oh, I made it. I made it. <sighs> this is a whirlwind. I feel like I am going through everything in this first five days of my life. You did not help me at all. <laughs> oh my God. That was terrifying. Okay. Uh, you know what? No, we're not doing this harvest fest. Screw it. I tried. Let's just go to the pub. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm gonna shower. Girl, get your keys, we're going. I'm out of here, let's go. Yeah, everyone in, everyone just come and chill in here, grab a drink, be safe, no cooking. Literally every single person I've talked to has been like, have you met the locals in Hanford on Bagley? Girl, you are a loco. I am talking to you, I know you. <laughs> anyway, I'm ending off day five, having some chips, chatting, chilling. It's 11 o'clock, I'm gonna go home. It's been a long day. <laughs> day six, beginning of day six, Valerie decided that after her near-death experience, she needed to start living her life. She wanted to go out and experience the rest of the world. So that's what we're going to do from now on. I think this is a good time to reno, so I'm just going to quickly change up a couple things, only in her bedroom maybe. Like I said, I wanted her room to be a little strange, so these are the renos so far. I only have $46 left after that, so definitely to be continued. But now I work at 5. After my promotion, I work a little bit later, 5 to 11. Okay, good to know. So let's go somewhere and start practicing that DJ music. It's like 9 in the morning. <laughs> maybe her dream can be to open up a nightclub in Hanford on Bagley because we don't have one. Wait, you mean I can't just try and do this? I don't want to buy my own. Well, I guess you got to do what you got to do. Okay, well, let's just like scope it out, see what's going on. The cheapest one is $575. We got to save up. That's what we're saving for. While I'm standing here looking around, Cecilia is calling to see if I want to go over. Sure, why not? Let's go hang out. I wonder if I can like make money doing errands. There's a new thing called like offer to help. I wonder if you like get anything in return for like helping out. Oh, who the heck is this Sim? This is a cute Sim. We can be friends. All of the Sims in this are so cute. All of the like townies. Okay, this girl's flirting with me. Hello, romantic interest perhaps? What's her name? Rami. Oh, that's so cute. Day six, we meet a potential love interest. Oh, they're going swimming. They're standing in the water. I didn't know you could even do this. Oh, well, she's not joining me. That's awkward. I actually didn't really intend to do this, but okay, I'm gonna go on the town and I need to ask somebody for help. I really just wanna know if I can make money doing this. <laughs> I'm here in my bed bathing suit. I can tell she's going to end up being a hot mess. I know it. Oh, Victor Fang, do you need help? Offer to help. Okay. I'm going to help Sarah. She's like, what are you doing here? Okay. Um, oh, you do get money. <laughs> you do get money. This is good because I can help you and learn a little bit about the bar life because she wants to own a nightclub. Yes, I will help you. $175. Sure. I gotta go collecting berries and mushrooms and bring them over here. Okay, cool. I will do that in my bathing suit. Pick strange mushroom. Sarah, girl, I know you've got a little bit of a crazy streak. I'm gonna bring you these. <laughs> Are these like magic? Are these magic mushrooms? This place is so pretty. Work starts in an hour. I'm getting a phone call from Minerva. Um, under what conditions? Or money, money, give me now. I never know which one I'm supposed to do here. Money, money, give me now. This is where I have to get married within seven days. Are you kidding me? Okay, I guess we're gonna get married 
married within seven days and then I'm gonna be rich. So we are almost a week in. Next week, I'm gonna be married, apparently, to Rami. <laughs> Hopefully. Hey, okay, I got my berries. I want to try and make it back. If I can get that money, I'm pretty sure you get like over $20,000 when you marry someone under those conditions. I could probably either renovate my entire house or open the bar. I don't have time. I got to go to work. I can't give up on my career as an entertainer yet because that's also a source of income. We're home. I'm going to go to bed. We didn't make that much money. It was like $300 or something. Let's go to sleep. Tomorrow, I'm going to try and go get those berries and maybe I can invite Rami with me. So day seven, I sold some plants, got a decent amount of money from that and are practicing my music before we head out. I'm just now getting the welcome wagon. It's day seven. So the gnomes, that got me around $1,500, which is pretty freaking good. And now we are going to go off in the rain, I guess, with Rami and collect the rest of those berries. Oh my God, of course, it's thunderstorming. Please don't die. This is a lot of work for like $145 or whatever I'm getting. I cannot find these berries for the life of me. Yeah, she's just cloud gazing away. She doesn't even care. I love this sim. And I'm just going to order the rest of these groceries from like Zoomies or whatever. Okay, blueberries I'm ordering and I need raspberries. We're just chilling. I gotta work. I gotta make sure I get my groceries. She was just getting flirty. I really hate this starting time of work. 5 p.m. is not ideal. You know what? Before I leave, I'm gonna go ahead and try and flirt. I'm gonna have to leave for no, wait. Oh, dang it. Okay, should she skip work? No. The romance festival is on. I'm gonna miss it. Day seven, I experienced heartache. We got a promotion. Day seven, two in one week. Did that change my hours? No, five to 11. I hate that shift. All right, day eight. Everything is looking a little dirty. I'm gonna buy a vacuum. We're going for the cheap one, $180. We're gonna eat and then I'm going to bring those berries to Sarah. This girl is a hustler. She is here all day every day. It is like not even 9 a.m. Who the heck is this Sim? She's like being mean to Sarah. I've never seen her here. Okay, I'm gonna go deliver the berries. I don't know what your deal is, ma'am. I just like cut her off. This girl is not happy about it. Look at her <laughs> grilling me. I did it. I want to help her with like all those errands. That's gonna be my goal. I can pick up both. Okay, yeah. I gotta bring you some mushrooms, girl. I got those in my pockets. And then all I have to do is go and like say hello to the other people, I think. Or get it to a Sim that's waiting on it. I feel like I'm playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'm gonna try and give my package to this girl the village package here you go i wonder if she's gonna take it or she's gonna be like annoyed oh she'll take it okay yay all right so we've kind of made amends with this lady so i have completed my errands got a little bit of money for that let's go somewhere with rami oh we can go skating over here that's really cute invite to skate i'm gonna call up rami today's day eight and we're gonna flirt <laughs> rami was skating for like two seconds she was not into it i'm gonna get off this ice here and we're gonna flirt finally it's able to work out she's married oh girl no oh no oh no too bad <laughs> Oh no, this is not good. We became good friends. I mean, she's always flirting with me. Look at this guy in the background. He is a pro. Who the heck is Thomas? Hold on. I don't know that I've met Thomas. Thomas Watson. Well, you know what? We did say our life was going to turn around and we were going to give zero care about the world. So sorry, Thomas. Day eight, we break up a marriage. Okay, she left. I'm going to go home and get ready for work. Figure out how I'm going to do this. And I'm going to buy that DJ thing before I forget. I do have a little bit of money. I'm going to start practicing that. Yeah, I'm just going to practice before work. We acquire acquired the DJ mixing skill. Hell yeah. No, Cecilia is here playing with her clay. This girl, <laughs> she works so late. Like, okay, we're done with the day. Let's go to bed. Day eight coming to a close and we've got a plan. Oh God, but now I'm being invited to a nightclub. Sarah, you know me too well. I'm exhausted though. Let's do it. We have to do it. Let's go and accept Sims to travel with. We're going to go with Rami. Day eight ain't over yet. Oh, it's snowing here. What the heck? I wonder if I have enough points to buy like a thing that is going to do instant energy. Yes, I do. No, sleep replacement. That's the one that I need. Yep. Redeem. Thank you. I'm going to take this. We're going to drink this magic potion at the nightclub. Zero out of 10. Do not recommend, by the way. Oh, she's also stinky. I should probably buy something for that. Okay. All my problems have been solved. Let's uh, first kiss. It's happening in day nine. Yay, nice. I hope her husband's not here. I'm gonna try and ask her to be my girlfriend. We're gonna see how this goes. She said yes. Naomi, she said yes. Okay, so now we're dating. Day nine, we have a girlfriend. It's very late. I'm gonna go home. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna try and convince her to leave her husband. <laughs> Maybe we can practice the DJ thing. I would be such an annoying neighbor. Luckily, there's no one really around me. We're off to work. Day nine, I managed to reach level two of the comedy skill, which I needed for my promotion. And I got to level three of DJ mixing. So we're on our way up. I still got to worry about this wedding. This is probably going to bring us to the end of day nine. I'm going to sleep after this. She's exhausted. Oh, we got promoted. Hell yeah. Still working that 5 p.m. shift, but I got a promotion five and 95 and I got a stereo, which I'm going to sell. Nice. Okay. Yay. We are doing pretty good in our career. And we're 
going to sleep in today 10. Oh, I'm excited to see this place with the snow. Oh my God, I got to pay my bills. <gasps> my cow plant is big. Day 10, the cow plant is alive. Oh, tomorrow's Winterfest. Cute. How cute would it be if I proposed in Winterfest? I only have two days to get married. Oh my God, we got to do this. Okay, we're showering. Then let's go travel somewhere. Let's just get right to it. Rami, you are breaking up with Thomas. <laughs> day 10, we broke up Rami and Thomas. Whoops. Valerie has convinced Rami to leave her spouse. Oh my God. Okay, we're going to have a cute date. Can we woohoo here? I'm pretty sure we can. We can woohoo in the telescope, which is one of the things that she wanted to do. How romantic. Day 10, our first one. Who? Oh, look how pretty this looks here. Okay, so yeah, day 10. I'm just gonna have some food. I'm gonna feed my cow plant and then I'm gonna go to work. Tomorrow we propose. We just got the chance of a lifetime. This is like guaranteeing a promotion, I think. Perform the encore. Why would I click the other thing? And I wanna be a musician. We got promoted. What the heck? We got the workaholic lifestyle. Obviously, we work like every single day. Day 10, we got a promotion. And I think we got a little fame going too. Day 10, we're famous. Go to bed. Tomorrow's Winterfest. And we got stuff to do. She's doing so good in her career. What the heck? And now we work 2 p.m. to 8. That's a little better. Day 11 and I'm off today. 23 hours to get married. So we might have to have the wedding today. Day 11. I feel like that came up so fast. And it's Winterfest. Oh my God, we have so much to do today. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Where does she live? Oh, she lives here. Should I just go to her house and propose? Yes. Eh. This is gonna be embarrassing. She has a family. I gotta feel bad. Okay, we chose this life though. Oh my God, this is actually really, really awkward. I'm gonna propose right here, right now. Oh my God, this is really embarrassing. Nice house though. Oh my God. She's feeling very sad. She might say no. Okay, she's saying yes. How romantic. We have to get eloped. Like we have no time. She probably has a decent amount of money too. Oh my God. Okay, let's move. We're getting engaged. Let's go get married. Where should we get married? Is there a nightclub with a wedding arch? There is about to be. We'll invite the whole gang. This way I don't have to spend any money. Hopefully I get that $20,000 bonus. Day 11, we have a wedding. I'm gonna put the wedding arch like right up here. <laughs> get married to Rami. Cute. I'm sorry we're not doing a full wedding, but we're on a time crunch. Adorable. <laughs> okay, moving together. How much should I take? I don't want to take all their money. Let's just bring like $8,000. Seems reasonable, like not even half. You get the kids, leave you with 20. And I satisfied the conditions, so I get a lot of money. I've got $22,000. Let's go home. I want to buy this nightclub. I wonder how much it is. She's a freaking style influencer, what? Okay, no, but we're probably gonna quit our job. Yeah, she's gonna quit. We're gonna get her a new job. Sorry, I'm quitting on Christmas. I feel like she could maybe be, wait, let's get her to be a gardener. Apparently I need a piano. I don't really want to buy one though, so I might go play the piano like somewhere else. But there's a piano in San Machino. Okay, I'm gonna practice just this here. I need to reach level two, so I'm gonna spend the rest of day 11 doing that. People are tipping me. Why have I not been doing this with my guitar? It's day 12. Rami is making some breakfast while Valerie just woke up and now she's sleeping on the couch. <laughs> Rami wasn't even at work and she just got promoted? I'm kind of confused. Day 12, we got a pointless promotion. And I think Rami is going to plan the honeymoon. So Val is home. Rami is going to sleep. They're gonna talk about the honeymoon in the morning and that's gonna wrap up day 12. Day 13, I think it's time to talk about the honeymoon. So they're going to discuss that. I work today, but I don't work tomorrow. So I wonder if they should leave after work tonight. Maybe they can go camping until like Sunday morning. So I think today for most of the morning, they're going to catch up on their skills because they're not going to worry about it for day 14. So after work tonight, we are headed off to, to Granite Falls. Oh, actually while doing this, I reached a new milestone. I need 12 freaking friends. <laughs> okay. I got to go to work. I got to socialize with all of my coworkers today. I freaking got promoted again. I do not understand. Like I'm going to max this out and we are not even two weeks in. I'm level six of the musician career. Like that is fast. All right. But anyway, like promised, we're out of here and she needs a day off. Okay. So yeah, we're going. So we're going to take a vacation with Rami. Let's go to a nice cabin for two, three days. I want to be here. I want to be here till Sunday. So $9.93. Let's go. Here's our cabin. It's kind of basic. This is the inside. It looks honestly like a cabin that you would find going camping like a nice one at that so i think we're gonna wrap up day 13 playing some cards at the table day 14 is actually new year's eve that was perfect i didn't really plan that at all but yay rami is up first so she is gonna make some breakfast Ooh, grilled fruit on the barbecue she's got cooking skill level nine damn i should have put her into the cooking career and she put them on the floor <laughs> 
Okay, I want to play with some of the activities that they have here. I'm going to play with this horseshoe thing. Maybe I can send them on like a hike or something. Oh, we can explore the woods. Yeah, I want to do that. Okay, did you guys know there's a secret world in Granite Falls? So it's right here, like not a secret world, but like a secret lot. So I'm, where am I? It's really hard to find. There's like this little patch of like grass and we're going to go in there and go to the hermit house. <laughs> Day 14, we visit the hermit. <laughs> See, there we go. Hermit's house. And there's like a waterfall in like a tiny little home. <laughs> it's so random. Like I feel like no one ever goes here. Look how pretty though. I guess no one's home. Well, let's go in and just sit by the fire. <laughs> oh no, here's the hermit. This is so weird. <laughs> Day 14, things got strange. We're sitting in the hermit's house. He literally keeps like putting this pot on the oven, taking it outside and coming back. I kind of have the feeling that we're about to get murdered. I feel like we should leave. <laughs> yeah, he's like on a loop, like bringing that pot back and forth. I'm freaked out. We gotta leave. I'm out. <laughs> Plus he didn't have a TV and it's New Year's Eve. I think the rest of day 14 we are gonna spend watching New Year's Eve TV and uh, head on to the new year. Day 15. <laughs> Happy New Year day 15. This is our last night here so probably just gonna hang out by the fire. They're getting a little stinky. You know the camping stank. I actually think we have this cabin for one more day because I'm still on vacation technically. Yeah they just got paid for their time off so they have one more day to hang out here. Maybe today they can go outside and play in the snow, make some snow angels. Day 15 was pretty relaxing, but I can tell they're kind of anxious to get back to their real life. So this is gonna be day 15 coming to a close. Yeah, day 16, she's awake and having work withdrawals. I think we need to go home. It's like 4 a.m. and she's freaking out. So bright and early, I think we are gonna end our vacation and go home. Disaster strikes as Rami gets an anonymous letter in the mail stating that Valerie only married her for money. Obviously, this is not going to go over well because Rami literally left her entire family for this and she probably feels a little bit awful right now. <laughs> so day 16, tragedy strikes and we get divorced. Rami is divorcing Valerie. We should have freaking known better. Why did we take the money over love? Ridiculous. Broke up a family. We feel like an awful person right now. Day 16, bad day for the book. This is sad. I feel bad about it. Rami decides that she wants to move back in with her family. She doesn't get any of the money back. Val is obviously feeling very upset. I think this is gonna spark another change in Val. I think we're gonna get out of here for a little bit. We're gonna move. We're gonna sell the house. We're out of here. I think I'm gonna take one last day to process everything, work on my skills while I'm here, and yeah, we're out of here. Oh, great. And now she's got a new quirk, which is a motion bomb. Valerie is currently escaping work. No, she not. No, go to work. We're not gonna let this take over us. Oh, girl, what are you wearing? Where did this look come from? That's not one of her outfits. Day 17, and she can't sleep. She is freaking out. Have work withdrawals. She's mad about the house being dirty. Okay, we, we need a change. I can't handle this. All right, day 17. Let's move. I bulldozed the entire house and now I have 44,000 simoleons. I placed the Leo house. I made this on my channel in the fire signs video. It's the Leo apartment. We're going to move here. A fresh start. Day 17 resembles change and new surroundings. So this is the apartment. If you didn't see it in that video, this is where we're going to live now. Home sweet home. <laughs> For me, well, filming this, it's day two. Uh, 100 days in The Sims 4 is actually a lot of time, so you know. I kind of wanted her to come in here and play the guitar, practice, but she's still feeling very tense. I think we're gonna spend the rest of day 17 chilling, getting used to the new apartment, because I can't really get her to do anything. She's such a workaholic. She's having withdrawals. So day 17, we're gonna spend playing video games. Not even done day 17, and she is having an emotional meltdown. My girl! Oh my god, I feel so bad for her. She's not having a good time. I think with the divorce and the move and everything is just getting to her. Day 18, we're gonna have to do something fun. We gotta turn this around. So day 18, we're gonna go busk for tips. I'm gonna put my guitar in the inventory and we're gonna go out there and hopefully make some money, maybe make some friends. I do wanna introduce myself to more townies in San Mishuna because I need 12 friends to accomplish my next milestone here. But yeah, I'm just gonna be playing my guitar out here. Hopefully I get some money. Her level is getting up there. So I wonder if I could like actually make some decent cash doing this. This person is gonna steal my tips. Can you go do that somewhere else, please? <laughs> like, really? 
not really. Everyone's just trying to outshow me. Okay, I've been doing this for a couple hours. It's not working. Let's go find a piano. Yeah, this is like her comfort place, I think. I'm gonna have her use the washroom, then we're gonna play for tips on the piano. There's like random fireworks going off. What is happening? I need to reach level four here, so I'm probably gonna do this until she has to go to work. Oh my gosh, she's so close. I gotta wait for her to go to work until she gets that. Okay, great. Now maybe we'll get a promotion. So she's off to work. I didn't get a single tip from that entire music session. Are you kidding me? I am a professional. All right, we're home. She's looking fancy. I think I might end the day off going to the karaoke lounge. I'm gonna bring some of the friends from Henford on Bagley. We haven't seen them in a, in a little bit. So let's bring the squad. Poor Rami. I mean, our friendship is still up. Our romance is just zero. Should we be friends? I think no. <laughs> cool. Yeah, let's introduce ourselves to some people. This bartender is kind of cute, but I stink. <laughs> so we are now into day 19. We spent quite some time here getting to know some new people. She's pretty stinky though, so I think we're gonna call it a night and head home. I think I want to get a pet. Day 19, we get... A cat? Adopt a cat! They're so cute! Let's get Clover. Yes, okay, we are gonna get Clover. Or do we want Betty? Or do we want both? Let's get both. Two cats. Day 19, we have two pets. I gotta get some stuff for the cat. There, I got all the cat stuff I need. We are ready for our kittens. Oh, the guy is here, but where are the cats? <gasps> there they are! Oh my god! Oh, they're so cute! There's one. Which one is that? Betty? Oh, where's the other one? I need to fill their food. Oh, right here! I don't know what that is. I think that's a hairball, but okay, we're gonna adopt you both. Yes, look how small! Yes, we've got two new household members. Oh, I'm so happy, and it's love day tomorrow! And we have the stupid welcome wagon. Okay, come in, I guess. The rest of day 19 is spent playing with my cats, and thank goodness she's finally freaking happy. Day 20 is love day and almost Valerie's birthday. I think for her birthday tomorrow, we'll probably go out and do something. I want to invite all of her friends. I'm only at four, so this is going to be a good opportunity to hopefully reach that 12 friend like thing there. That's going to be the main goal of my birthday party. <laughs> I kind of also want to form a band and you can do that with making groups. I feel like that would be really fun, actually. Oh, he's already playing the guitar out here. Maybe he can be a band member. I'm going to have to buy all the instruments. It's going to be a whole thing. Day 20, we got promoted again. We have a bonus of $1,282 and we got a piano. I kind of don't want it. I've been enjoying going to San Machino Park. I can sell that. I hope it's expensive. Yeah, this is worth $3,600. Yes. I still want to own that nightclub, even though we took a little bit of money out to buy this apartment. The nightclub is still the, the goal here, but she's feeling tense. I think I'm going to have her sleep for the rest of day 20 because we have a party to plan tomorrow. Day 21 is her birthday. She works in six hours, so I got to go and do this party now? Should I just invite people over? I think we're gonna do that. It's a little dirty, but it's fine. This way we can cook a cake and blow out the candles properly. We're gonna invite all the people that we're like kind of friends with. Should I invite Rami? Sure, why not? We love the drama. I still do have to work today and I gotta make a cake. Am I gonna make myself my cake? Also, okay, go off. Look at that outfit. Day 21, we are fabulous. I guess I'm gonna have to cook myself a cake. Ah, please don't let me die on my birthday. <gasps> help me, help me cook. <laughs> Betty aged up apparently is Betty's birthday too, my kitten. What? Day 21, Betty is an adult. I thought I aged up. I was like, I didn't even do that. What the heck? Yay, Betty. And Clover. Oh my God. Everyone's aging up today. It's everyone's birthday. This cake is taking forever. Oh my God, Robbie's here. This is so awkward. <laughs> Look how many people are in my freaking apartment. I have a good reputation. Oh my God, my cat is on the oven. <gasps> what are you doing? <gasps> That's a terrifying glitch. I'm cooking. Valley has to work in an hour. I think we're gonna skip it. I still have not made my cake. Oh, there it is. Add the candles before someone eats it. Yay, we're gonna blow out the candles. Day 21, I'm aging up into an adult. We're gonna take a day. Yay! Where is she? What? What the? Why are you down here? What is going on? Come back. She just got yeeted out of her apartment. Happy birthday. Out the window you go. Okay, I'm gonna spend the rest of this day literally just trying to make more friends. What am I at? I'm at nine. Okay, good. Progress is being made. She's so happy. So your girl ended up going to work anyway, even though it was her day off. <laughs> and I got this option. It says for your consideration, basically there's like this award show. I'm gonna submit my music to it. Day 21 was a great day. We are gonna go to bed and head on into day 22. Day 22 and my neighbors have been playing music all night.
night. I literally cannot get her to sleep because of it. So I'm gonna just knock politely and say, excuse me, nothing happened. I literally can't sleep. Like it's too noisy for me to sleep because of it. Are you kidding me? Actually, wait, I'm being invited out to the flea market. Sure, let's go. I never go here. Why not? The flea market is literally like outside my house, I think. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, cool. Oh my God, I can busk for tips here. Okay, how do I kick you off? All right, people pay me. I've been doing this all day. I reach guitar level seven. I'm gonna see how much money I made. I think those are my tips in there, I think. Oh my God, get them before this disappears. Get the tips. No! <laughs> What? I didn't get anything. Those are my tips that just disappeared. Oh my God, I'm going home. You can make like decent money from that. What am I doing wrong? Day 22, I got robbed. Day 23, I'm gonna try and practice my speech, get that charisma skill up because I do need that also to complete this milestone here. And I'm pretty sure once your charisma skill is like at a certain point, you can like ask people for money. I'm in my adulthood now. And if I am planning on owning a restaurant or nightclub at any time, I gotta start hustling. Also, I need to start thinking about children because I'm gonna have to continue this. No, Betty is running away. Oh no, Betty ran away. Oh my God, too much is happening. Anyway, as I was saying, I need to make sure that I have someone to continue this legacy here because obviously a hundred days, I'm gonna be dead by then. I gotta post a thing to get Betty back. The alert has been posted. Hopefully Betty comes home. We're exhausted and very stressed out. So day 23 is gonna come to an end. I gotta go to sleep. Hopefully in the morning, Betty will come back. Day 24, Betty has returned. Make sure to welcome them back. <gasps> Wake up. She's out on the street. What are you doing, Betty? What a bad day. She's got um, an emotion bomb going on, the sad bomb. We're gonna give a comforting hug to Betty. Welcome back, little one. Okay, I gotta focus here. It's day 24. I need to make sure that I can max out this career before her life is over. I need to start thinking about the end game for Val here. So I think I'm gonna spend the next couple of days upping the piano skill. I need to up my charisma skill and I need to have 12 freaking friends. So I'm probably gonna spend a couple days doing that and I'll check back up on you guys when all of those things are complete. Day 26, I did this milestone is complete. There are a bunch of fans that came to hang out with me while I was playing the piano. So I just befriended all of them and I finished off the third milestone. Now I need a freaking 20 friends. <laughs> I need to max the charisma skill. I did manage to reach level six of the piano skill. So hopefully today we can get a promotion. <laughs> Day 26, my hard work paid off and I got another promotion. We we are level eight of this, which is freaking fantastic. Day 27, my freaking neighbors are doing this again. Oh my God. On day 27, are we gonna make an enemy? I kind of think day 27, we should adopt a child. I don't know if love is coming anytime soon for our girl Val. I think she's probably still feeling a little bad about the way the last marriage went. Let's adopt a kid. I kind of want to adopt like an actual child. Like, I don't think I want to adopt a toddler. I want to adopt a child. It's a thousand dollars to adopt a child, but I kind of don't have a choice at this point. We are, I think we're like 20 days until we become an elder. 18 days until we become an elder. So we got a lot to do until then. I need to make sure that I have someone to continue on the legacy. Oh my God, they're all babies. Okay, who should we adopt? So there's Nathaniel, there's Braxton, Ismael, there's Joyce. I like that name. Paula and Jocelyn. I think I'm gonna adopt Joyce. I think that's really cute. We are adopting a child. Day 27, we get a kid. I don't know that I'm ready for this. I don't know if Val is ready for this either. She's going down in her PJs to get the kid. She left in her PJs to get the child. Oh, new family member, Joyce Travis. Oh my God, cute. <gasps> Yay, Joyce, we have a baby, a child. We can now take family leave. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that, but yay. And this is also an instant friend. <laughs> oh my God, I should just adopt like a million more kids. Then I'll have my 20 friends. Let's like get to know you. Day 27, I think we're gonna spend getting to know our child and we reach parenting level one. Oh my God, we became good friends. This is great. Oh, God, I need to make a kid's room. I think we might have to move again. I kind of don't really have room for this. I should have thought this through. This was a very impulsive decision. I don't have anything for this child. Okay, you know what? She's off to work. Um, I guess Joyce is gonna have to hang out here for a bit and tomorrow we're gonna have to move again because there is nothing for this child to do here. Where are the cats? We can at least introduce ourselves to the cat. Maybe we can get started on our homework. I don't know anything about Joyce. What do you like? Oh, she's good. Oh, Joyce. Okay, yeah, let's do some homework. If she's a good kid, maybe she's gonna be super smart. So we're gonna do the homework, day 27. We are a good kid. Okay, so Val is back home. We, first of all, need a shower. It's late. I don't think we're gonna be moving anytime soon today, but Joyce seems to have settled in quite nicely. She's been hanging out with the cats all day. She's feeling playful. I think they get along pretty good. So 
tomorrow we're gonna move. Unfortunately, that means that I'm sorry, Joyce, you're gonna have to sleep on the couch, babe. Or you know what? No, let's be a nice mother. I will sleep on the couch and you can have the bed. Day 28, we are moving later today. I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I really intended to have this all in one episode, just one to 100 days, but it is way too much, I think, to jam pack everything into one episode. We're only on day 28. So I think we're gonna do this across a few more episodes. I'm gonna end it here. Let me know if you guys like this episode and this series in the comment section down below. Let me know if you have any ideas for this series on how you want the rest of Val's life to go or how you want Joy's life to start. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.